Today I will show you easy 100k USD worth of super rare Yu-Gi-Oh cards and also don't forget to check out part 1 from last week. Let's go! Alright, we arrived at the second hobby station and this place is super super small. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is just on the first floor like a couple shelves. Uh, which is why I always go there because I have like already scored some deals in the past and let's see what they have today. There's some sealed packs here. We have a uh, blue ice here, 10,800 yen or 108,000 yen, sorry. Some gold for us here as well. I think they're priced really competitive. But I don't see a Jinzo, unfortunately. I see the Rato though. Damn, where's my Jinzo? Alrighty guys, um, nothing here for me today. But I'm very sure um, the prices here are very competitive. So um, if, you're, if you were, or if I were looking for something else, I might have found something. But today I'm like very, very focused on the cards I actually need like for your guys' orders and also for my new ultimate rare binder I'm currently doing. Um, so nothing for me there, unfortunately. And right now we are on the Maid Street. I'm always showing you um, no maids right now because it's too early. It's like 1 or 2 p.m. Um, which is why there is no maids right now. But if it would be a bit little later or if you look in other videos, guys, there's a lot of maids here on this street. You can even see like small maid cafes over there and yeah on this famous maid street there's also a card shop called fuku fuku torika i'm always featuring that place and we are going there right now and this place is very high end prices are on the higher end as well but you can see stuff there you usually cannot see so let's go so right now guys we are at the main entrance here of fuku fuku and yeah again Already crazy stuff here, the starter box, the very first deck of Yu-Gi-Oh here and they still have these boxes, I've seen them I think uh, in September when I filmed here as well, really cool that they're still here and they really focus on Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon like super super hard. I um, can't tell you guys too much about these, I mean I collect some of these Pokemon cards as well but um, I'm not an expert in any way. Let me know if there's something crazy I should have covered. <laughs> but I'm not bilingual trainer for a reason, I'm bilingual duelist. So um, we have more Charizard over here as well. Really, really nice. And let's move on to some more Yu-Gi-Oh, I would say. So first of all, the Chaos Soldier here. Vanilla promo, 3000 copies given out. Then we have the, the Chinese Dark Magician here, hope you can see it. Very hard to see, but the font is a little different from the, the regular Volume 1. And since there's also only 1000 copies, that's the price. Should be like, I think these are like $8000. Up here we have the ultra rare version, and this is the Chinese one. So this is also the one you got uh, from the jump. Also, only 1,000 copies, the Chinese Blue Eyes and the Chinese Dark Magician over here. Uh, here we have a regular SM51, so the Blue Eyes Ultimate Rare. But what makes this guy so special is that this guy is a saturated blue shimmer. So the background of this card is more blue than the regular version. And if you don't know anything about these guys, I've made a separate video about these misprints. So you can check out. And over here we have the Jump Festa, obviously, fan favorite. Um, I'm not sure if it's if it was 1,000 copies or 3,000. I think it was 3,000 copies, but this is basically the, the DDS for the OCG. 4 million yen, so this is like 30,000 USD. <laughs> and up here we have the, the Silver Blue Eyes, another one. And we don't have a golden one today, but we have a price cut over here. This is the... Serpent Night Dragon, which recently got the reprint as well, uh, 6 million yen, so yeah, 40,000 USD. And we have the Onna Kenshi Kana, also the, the Shoki version, the first version, 
which is also a tournament promo. And these I already covered at the Radio Kaikang. Um, these are the Game Boy promos which were super difficult to pull, even if you might think now that these are quite common, um, there's not that many places who have these. And guys, a card I really really like is this Dark King of the Abyss um, from the so-called B set. I think there's only 50 of this. Crazy. 800,000 yen should be roughly 6,000, maybe 5,500 USD. And here on the back you see these common versions of the Dark King of the Abyss. And these are from the first edition starter box. So the starter box I just showed you, it's the deck. I mean, I can show you one more time. There's nobody in here today, so <laughs> I have a lot of uh, easy access to all of these. So this is the starter box. This is the second version, because the first one has a small sticker like on top of this small window here. And the first one was only given out at the at the very first day when the uh, movie, the very first movie of Yu-Gi-Oh! was released. And there you had like five different comments. And we have like four here. And these are all from the first edition starter box. There's one missing, and I think it's Aquamador. Um, and these comments are expensive because it was very limited to first release. All right, more price cards. We have the Sengenjin. We have the Aquamador here. Um, if you're curious, guys, about the prices, it's super easy to Google these. So um, I can't really tell you like all the prices in USD. You have to do it yourself. But yeah, awesome to see. I mean, this is a gem in 10 dark magician from volume one and here you can see like the difference right this is the japanese one we have a way different naming here than the chinese one i just have shown you right this is the chinese one looks different right and then we move on to some more <laughs> extremely cool cars so we have this awesome dark magician figure this is the card I'm eyeing with. It's the Dark Magician Girl in Ultra Rare. Really hard to see her. But this is a very nice ghost rare print of her. The only ghost rare print exists in this artwork. And this is the Holy Grail here as well. We have the G311 Secret Rare. There's also a rare version of this card, but if you climb, climbed up higher in the tournament, you got her as a Secret Rare super super limited which is why this is also like 30,000 USD and here is the rare version um, I've just covered uh, 700,000 so this is like 4k still very expensive but uh, more affordable moving down to the stainless steel dark magician girl um, I have her as well she's like 500 USD now she was nearly double like one or two years ago and down here, I don't know why <laughs> these got a place in the showcase. Maybe there is a reason, but I don't know. Um, we have the XYZ parts here from Kaiba and some more sealed stuff. And back to the middle part of the store again, sealed packs here. Really, really cool display. More blue eyes, red eyes, dark magicians and old school ultimate rares in on mass it's crazy guys um, so yeah this is basically the inventory they have also this uh, new god card trio what do you think of these i don't really like these <laughs> not the biggest fan i would say but yeah still very cool to see and the rest is basically pokemon cards so i'm going up now to the second level now um, it's very close, it's just when you go out it's around the corner. I'm always trying to show you in the videos but it's really hard to understand if you just see some clips right which are detached but um, this time I didn't cut the video so you now know and um, just turn around and you have to go to the fourth floor. And with that being said guys I hope you enjoyed today's video and next week I will show you the second level of Fuku Fuku Torika so stay tuned like comment and subscribe and we will see us all next week thanks for watching your bilingual duelist